I want to take a second today to talk about like a very cool feature in Affinity Publisher, which is the, the software that I use to make layouts uh, for my games. So uh, this is the Stoneburner document and uh, the game that I recently crowdfunded on Kickstarter. And one of the things that I do in this layout is that sometimes I will take like um, a bit of a section of word like inside a paragraph and I'll use a different font for it. So for example, if I zoom over here, you'll see that like D8 here uses a different font. It uses Osiris, which is, uh, you can see the top left corner. So numbers use that. Sometimes you'll uh, see that uh, see it as well for here, right? Like excellent, good, fair, it uses a different font. So to be able to change the font quickly, uh, what I did is I created a textile actually a uh, character style. So you can have paragraph styles, for example, for your H1s and your paragraphs and all of that, but you can also have character styles for characters within a paragraph. So I created a text style, character style called highlight, which you can do by clicking this button here. So if I click on edit, right click edit on highlight, you'll see here that it says keyboard shortcut, command O. So what that does is that like it sets a keyboard shortcut a little bit like when you do uh, command and control B or command and control I uh, to quickly make something bold or something italic. So it's kind of like the same concept. It's just that you can define what that keyboard shortcut is going to be. And in my case, I used command O. Just be warned that like this may override any other like default keyboard shortcut in the application. But for me, it does a trick. So if I take, for example, this bit of text here and I do command O, it uses my textile highlight. So I feel it's a cool way to be able to create layouts uh, very quickly to assign shortcuts to your favorite textiles. And I uh, hope you like that.